got 30 in here and 41 thumbs up. That's pretty awesome. Ooh, thank you guys for <laughs> waiting on us. Uh, we got live a little bit early because you don't see any Christmas tree behind us. That's a problem. We're going to have to get the Christmas tree up. Yeah. So we're going to wait for this to pop on because it's still showing that we're not completely live. But I see lots of comments in there. People saying hello, um, where you're from and all that. So when you guys can actually hear us and see us, let us know. I'm trying to get on and I've got a commercial. So as soon as this commercial is okay. over, I'll be live. Well, it said we had 40 people in here. Now it says 17. So we started and they left yeah. us. Hey, Pam. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> How are you? There we go. Cassie's sister's here. Yeah. Hey. Don't call me, Sarah. Hey, hey Jacob. <laughs> if you're watching. Camilla, what are you doing? So, uh, if you're just getting in, let us know where you're watching from. And is it too early for a Christmas tree? Is this, is this are, are we, what's it called? Um... Breaking oh, now rules. we have 75 in here. Awesome. So I don't know what our record is for being in here, but whatever we have in here tonight, we're going to call that our record because we've never really paid attention. Oh. So make sure you share this real quick on Facebook or somewhere. Tell people to come over because it is going to be the most amazing, exciting thing of putting up a tree. So one of our favorite things every year really gets us in the Christmas spirit is to put up the Christmas tree. We know it's a tiny bit early, but... Um, we are going to do it early because there's a good chance we'll be hunting the day after Thanksgiving. And we don't typically hunt on Sundays around here. We kind of reserve that for our church and church activities and family stuff. So today we're going to spend it putting up the Christmas tree so we can clear our calendars for Friday and Saturday after Thanksgiving. And this will be done. Also, my archery season starts Friday. For school. I teach um, archery at our school and our first practice is Friday. So not only will we be doing basketball stuff, but archery stuff. So this is going to keep getting crazy, people. So somebody said their Christmas tree's been up a week. So hey, if they can put theirs up a week ago, we're good. Sarah said they just put their outside lights up. Gary did that last night. Yep, I got I up Hey, last Brandon night. Rustic Woodworking Family, how are you? We're doing great. So the kids are in Ranger's room. He has a basketball goal in there, and they've been playing basketball. Mazzy says she's reading a book. So we told them they could hang out in there and then come in here and help us with the tree. Actually, it's going to be Gary and the kids doing the tree. Yeah, I, I'm uh, kind of the one that puts the tree up every year. The tree that we have is from Sam's Club, and it is one of those artificial trees. I know some people are like, no, artificial, you can't do that. It has to be real. But Mazzy has allergies, Ransom has allergies, and they're bad enough without adding a live tree. Michelle said her tree goes up the day after Halloween. Wow, I like that. Awesome. So I know some people, the Max, I think they put up like several different Christmas trees. Oh, really? If I remember right. The Max are always overachievers and on top of stuff. Yeah. We were just talking about them before we went on. I told Gary that we were slackers. They had a funny video out today. It was a, a parody or I don't know what you call it. They switched places. It was real funny. And it was funny. So Someone said they've been trying to catch up on our videos. Well, is that because you've been watching uh, Catching Up with the Walkers? Look at this awesome shirt that Brandon and Stephanie over at Rustic Woodworking Family. This is our uh, second channel, Catching Up with the Walkers, Planning and Praying. Um, if one of you moderators, which I think Brandon Brandon's, might be the only Brandon's one in right here right now. Um, if you want to put our link to our Catching Up with the Walkers, uh, you guys um, go over and subscribe to that and don't miss any videos where we just kind of do some behind the scenes, what's going on the farm, talk without the kids. So if you're only here for the kids, you might not like it, but um, we have a lot of fun over there. So Thank, thank you so much, Brandon, for the shirts. Yeah. Uh, that was awesome of you guys to make those and send them to us. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, people. somebody said they got a real tree every year and got it flocked. That was that the first time I'd that ever was Sarah. The first time I'd ever seen that was that Sarah? Yeah. Oh, Sarah. That was the first time I'd ever seen the tree done and uh that was pretty cool, I'd have to say. Yeah, the fake tree for us is just the way to go. We did get a decent one at Sam's Club, meaning like a little more expensive, but it has memory foam branches. Yeah. Memory 
Spring branches, memory something. So whenever you put it up, it goes out to the perfect spot the branches do. So Gary is known as Mr. Christmas in our family, like our family, his family. Christmas is his things. Go big. It's my favorite holiday. Go home. He is the best gift giver. He listens all throughout the year and does an awesome job uh, giving gifts. And so the Christmas tree has always been his thing and he's very picky about it. And then the kids came along and thank you, Brandon, so much for posting that link. The kids came along and they started wanting to decorate it and it was all within him to not go back and fix it. So, oh, no, it was fun. I mean, so the, the biggest, my biggest problem has always been with most artificial trees is getting the branches where they fill in the holes. Yeah. So. All right, kids. We're all matching. <laughs> well, you look up here. You're looking down there at Mama's iPad. Yeah, the kids are all matching from their last year Christmas pajamas. Aunt Sarah, are we going to get new matching pajamas for this year? Mazzy, you guys want to show them? They say, oh dear. Oh, oh dear. dear. I just had to stop reading in the middle of a book. Chapter book. Oh, You're Mazzy's, reading, a chapter Mazzy's book. reading a book right now. So, let me go. So, everybody's telling you hi, kids. Hi. Ransom, you want to show their, your haircut in case they miss our last video? Ransom's got his mohawk mullet thing going on again. He thinks he wants to grow that out, so. All right, so Cassie's gonna keep visiting with you guys. I'm gonna go back and start getting the tree up right back here, so you guys will see it come up from the very beginning. <laughs> All right, you boys ready? Yeah, let's go get our eggnog. No, well, no not, yet. not yet. Ranger is like we're gonna celebrate Gary and I eggnog. both. He loves eggnog. Eggnog, eggnog. Watch your people's eggnog. ears. All right, go help daddy. Are you gonna help me? He's fine. He can stay there. <laughs> All right. First thing, Ransom is we got. Oh yeah. Ransom, are you trying to look like Kevin with that haircut? <laughs> All right. Can you pull it out? Oh, like just like that. So Gary's pretty excited about this tree. Did you say it's going on year three? Yes. Um. So it's um uh, memory branches. Let me see if I can tilt you up without dropping you. So it comes out and plops out just like when we put it up last year. So that's pretty cool. Um, you, you're not supposed to have to uh, bring them all out and reposition them and get it just perfect. So it's been pretty cool. It also has lots of different colors. You wanna talk about the lights, Ranger? Um, yeah, last year, whenever um, we couldn't decide, we just changed it every day. And it goes to um, just all rainbow, it goes to flashing rainbow, it goes to like, like, rain, hey Phil, rainbow how are every you? five seconds, and then it goes to white what? flashing, and then and it, white You can use a remote, huh? It also makes an argument in our family about what light should be. So you guys leave it in the comments. Should they be all white, like flashing white, or should they be multicolor? Multicolor so, is more um, like... How do you explain Festive. It? White yeah. or multicolor. So there's the tree, and we haven't done a single thing to it. No shape of branches, no nothing. And it looks pretty good. Oh, no, Brandon. Well, um, let me take a drink of our... We always get these twist um, sugar-free lemonades, and we, they're usually... Uh, what are they? Sharp, strawberry clear? lemonade? No. Yeah. Someone said clear, multicolor, multicolor. Um, or yeah. blackberry or something. But Gary found just the regular lemonade this time, and it is so good, and it's sugar-free. I know, there's probably other stuff in it, but it's zero calories. So I have been not eating after seven, which that's kind of hard to do. But anything that is zero calories, I can have. So, so is this what you guys want right look, now? Look, look, multicolor, multicolor. Right. Oh, man, people are not on my side. Ten multicolor. What are they saying? And three, look, look at all those multicolors. Are we saying white? Come on, people. I like white. Get on my side. Oh, I like white. Daddy, look. look, look. You like the multicolor, or is it the kids? They like the multicolor. I like white. Oh, yeah, I thought we were on different pages. Two. Well, maybe I like multicolor, then, if you color. like white. You're just trying to argue with me. <laughs> um, Guys, put multicolor. So, Brandon said they got to get a new tree because they threw theirs away because they thought they were going to be on the old house. Remember our tree debacle there for a little bit? Yes. So when we moved out to Rose, um, we didn't have a tree when we first moved because it was at Christmas time. So we used a little fiber optic, like tiny one like this. Well, it was about like that. And the kids absolutely loved it. It was, it would spin, it was fiber optic. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that stuff. And then um, when we were at the rent house, we were supposed to be in our house pretty soon. So we were waiting to, uh, 
take the tree down until it was time to move. And it was up so long, my sister told me I was, first I was going to turn into a Valentine's Day tree and then an Easter tree because it just stayed up. You mentioned moving the freezer camp portion of the Oki Homestead to your farm. Can you explain? Because Dutch never mentioned not a... Okay, so um, the Oki Homesteading Expo is... is it's like a three-day event, but the main expo is on Saturday. But the day one and day two is with um, Hand Hewn Farm, and there's a hog butchering class. So not all three of those days are at um, the Mays County Fair. We've always said that day one was going to be um, somewhere else. Um, it just hadn't been officially announced where. So day one of that, which is already sold out, there was very limited tickets, um, is at our house. It's a very um, small group, hands-on learning experience. And then day two will be moved to the fairgrounds, um, and it's 100 people can come to that. Day one's already sold out. Yeah, day one's already sold out, uh, but day two isn't, and that will be at the fairgrounds. But here, in order to get prepare the hog for day two, it needs to be at a small setting, not at like a convention type center. So it's here so that we can dispatch the hog, hang it, um, get it prepared for the next day and do all that. So um, hopefully that answers some questions. It was just never really told exactly. Sean and Kevin. Yeah, they talked about they it on their live it. one time, but they've never really told exactly where it was because um, they wanted some privacy for us in that, you know, maybe not, we, it's not like we have stalkers, but if we did, maybe they didn't go buy all the tickets and Ain't be weird about it. Ain't nobody gonna mess with Deuce. <laughs> all right. So anyway, so, day one's at our house. Christmas tree decorating. So the kids each year, they have their own ornament they get every year. And so I keep them organized into a bag. So Ranger, here's your bag. Donna Lawson, I agree. And if you guys want to go look through the bag. Who's Donna? Hey, if you guys want to go look through the bag and find your favorite ornament to show everybody, go do it, okay? We got 339, 347 people in here that says on my phone. Okay, so what That's awesome. Keep sharing, guys. Let's see we, how many we can we get. We should try to get white that? and red mixed together. I'm going to put this up. I have this. I already know which one's your favorite. So you told them what they were doing. I was reading comments. Yeah, tell them again. Each kid has their own bag of um, ornaments. ornaments in it. <laughs> and I always try to write the year and the date on it. Um, so that they can go back and look at those. Some years we've done better than others, um, but they... Hey, if a squirrel comes out of this tree, I'm going to have problems. <laughs> but uh, we try to, every year, get an ornament that represents something. I want to show them my baby. That's Ranger when he was a baby. The camera's right there. Tilt it so there's no glow. <laughs> See Ranger as a baby. Looks nothing like me right now. And then... So like usually every year something it represents something. So this was Mazzy's the year she started walking. Hey. So these are her walking boots. Wait, I actually wore those. Yep. And, and I then my little feet. No, you didn't actually wear those, baby. I didn't hear what you my said. My little feet went in. There. And then this was for Mazzy's, which uh oh, yeah, the dates on there. Um, the year that Mazzy took dance lessons and ballet. Wait, I actually wore these. You didn't actually wear those. Ransom, let me see some of yours. Wait, Go how old your bag. was I when I was... Um, some of them are things that they've made at school, uh, like this. Do you know which one is my really favorite? What's your really favorite? Do you know which this. one? Guess which this one is This is Ransom's favorite. really favorite. It's a tractor. Look, this is... That was for Ransom. You're holding your bag, baby. I don't want Mama. it to drop. Hold this your bag. It's a Ranger Walker. Yeah, that was when you were Remember born, I... when your aunts got you and that. And my weight was seven... Yeah, this spider man was... And, and he likes his Spider-Man. This one he picked out himself. So seven. now that they're older, we let them pick them out themselves. Well, and uh, we still try to get something that represents something that happened that year. This is a soft... Gary, they said you need a ladder. I've got a bar stool. Mama? <laughs> that, Mama. That's not a ladder. <laughs> it's a bar stool. I took this from my mom. Oh, yeah. One of the kids got me this at school. And it's got Coach Walker on Mama, it, um, but Ranger it. wanted it, so I let him have it. Mama, yeah. guess which one my, my favorite is? This what? is a soccer Just ball. Guess. Probably the ballet shoes. That's my second favorite. Help me that, oh. hand me that baby one up there. One? They're in yeah. Ontario. It broke, though. Yeah, this one broke, but this is Mazzy's baby first Christmas one. And this 
one and it has her Campbell. weight and all that on it. My this, favorite one. This is a picture of me. Like Daddy. 2018. Yeah. Uh, no. My favorite. So where's one. where's Daddy and I's ornaments? I want to show them some of ours. Okay. You don't like ours. Sorry, we're missing comments, guys. And also, come back and color Look this. at this one. Is there a skunk in there? Mama, 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 look. I think it's the one on the ground, baby. That this might be both of ours. Exactly when I was four. Yeah. It's one of the That's trucks. me uh, when I was exactly four. Um. I want to put. So this, this right tree in. came from Sam's Club. Yeah, hang on. This tree came from Sam's Club, and we love it because when you open it, it remembers where you set it from last year. It's like memory or whatever, and you don't have to redo it, which I see a little bit of a whole gap in there. Well, that's why you got to hang decorations. <laughs> so All right, Mazzy's turn. This is so old. Mazzy's turn. Go, sis. So, this one's my favorite. Your little uh, lamb off the movie Star. If you guys haven't seen the Christmas movie, um, The Star... It's super cute. The kids love it. It tells the real accurate Christmas story, and it's a really good movie. So and my it's called favorite, The Star. My second favorite mm -hmm. is well, my second one. favorite is the ballet shoes. Yep. This All right. Oh, uh, special K, uh, specials for Lucy K. Not much, but um, something for the kids. Nine ninety nine. Well, they were just asking for hot chocolate. I told them it was too late, but we would do it sometime. 419 in here. That's awesome, guys. Keep sharing. Right. Thank you so much, Lucy. No, listen, listen, guys. The tree is now ready for oh, ornaments. Yes. So you can start hanging them up. Just space them out. I'm going to start hanging. Can I put that in my room? You want it in your room? I want it in my room. Okay. I'm going to put this in my room because it hasn't stained. Mm. Right. You want to watch on the front? Right. Yeah. You need to start hanging stuff up, buddy. Okay. I'm going to go from here. Um... I'm going to put these two next to each other, okay, Mom? Okay. I'm trying to look back. That, Mrs. Happy Homestead, that is true. She said you guys need a pony ornament for this year. Oh, yeah. <coughs> a pony ornament. So, this is some of Gary and I's. This skunk represents the year that we had a skunk under our house. The first house we owned had a cross space, and a skunk had made its way in there, and Gary said... I did eye with it for hours while we tried to figure out how to get it out. And Next one. we must have another bag because there's a oopsie skunk fail. Which one are you looking for? The OU one that represents the year we met. Right here. I thought it sang a song, but the uh, batteries went dead. There's more than that. So kid at school got me this whistle says Coach Walker, and it looks like a whistle. But that was pretty cool. Here's another one. Um, we sent these out as Christmas cards one year. Yeah, this was our Christmas cards one year. I used to do a really good job of making sure we got family pictures and Christmas cards, and we'd put stuff on them. And I haven't done a great job of doing that lately. Obviously, this one was before Ranger or Ransom, Guys, Ransom was born. Up, so you can hang some up high, buddy. All you're done. But this is a Boomer Sooner oh. one. This but we have a sure. Boomer Sooner somewhere. This was the year we built our house, wow. and we kind of called it Walker Farm. <laughs> yeah, it that was cool. It says Walker Farm on the bottom of it. This is not even an order bag. I don't even know that, why this was in You there. wanted to save it. But uh, Gary and I met at a OU game. Oh. And so we have an ornament somewhere that used to play Boomer Sooner, Boomer Sooner. So but the battery went dead. So this one is is one from a different year. I'm gonna put those together. Okay. You can never have too many OU ornaments. Oh yeah, but you got one too. Yeah, if you like OU, good for you. Y'all are doing a great job. Thank you. <laughs> Brandon, you wanna show them this? I'll hang those up. Yes. Or no, it's okay. Okay. Thank you, Brandon, for putting that link in there. Um yeah, so Catching Up with the Walkers is our other channel. Like I said, Brandon made us these cool shirts. He did our logo and stuff, and then he sent us these shirts the other day. Um, it is a channel where we just we talk about different topics. We get you caught up. Uh, we talk about behind the scenes, like things that's coming up or some different things like that. And um, the kids aren't on them um, because it's more of just us talking and things. So if you're only here for the kids, then you might not like it. But 
It's a pretty good channel. This is Ransom's first Christmas <laughs> in 2016. Do you so, forget what year he was born? Well, it says Ransom's first Christmas 2016. <laughs> It's looking good, looking good. How do you like the tree? Mommy, you come hang one up. I'm okay. gonna do Charlie. I was in charge of the comics. Can I do Charlie? Yeah, Ranger. She's watching Snoopy. The oh, that's Charlie? Yeah, no, it's not. I'm I gonna hang up my call, whistle. I wanna call it <gasps> Charlie. Okay. It, it is Snoopy, but I like the voice. All right. My official whistle it's is Charlie right Brown. Here. Okay, Charlie Brown. Okay, Charlie Brown. It's not really. Coach Walker. Snoopy. She's an official coach. <laughs> it's up high. Can you I still see you, it? I dare you guys for the rest of the um, live to call her not Cassie. Call her Coach Walker. <laughs> no. Mazzy used to call that me that. Too long to type, right? Coach Walker. Mazzy used to call me that sometimes, not meaning to. Coach Walker. You don't call me that at school, though. Well, you did there for a little bit, but I kept telling you you call me mom. Right, yeah, your, I call you mom because you were mommy. Guys, do not drop these hey, the stuff. Max, how are you? Were your ears burning? We were just Whoa. talking about you. All good stuff. <laughs> we were, All good crazy. stuff. We were talking about your video earlier and how to hilarious be, it was. To be honest, I thought Magic. our channel was actually boring. To be honest. <laughs> Mazzy, come yeah. here. Mazzy wants us to do makeup tutorials and oh, Barbies. And three and monker, marker color challenge. Yeah, and fashion and all that. And I told her I wasn't sure what people would think about that. Maybe but we'll when she gets a little that. older, maybe she can she have her own channel. Her own like that. She this makes is, videos on her this iPad. This is not an ornament. This is not an ornament. Oh, it doesn't have a... Oh, it broke off. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, geez. Christmas 2020, the one Thanks where we to my sister. quarantined. Can I see Mama? Nope. You guys see Aunt that? Aunt or Aunt um, Sarah? Aunt Sarah. We'll be looking back at this and be like, remember whenever toilet paper had a monetary value greater oh. than its actual value? Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah. Brandon said that that's oh, the fastest he's ever seen a Christmas tree go up. It's a pretty awesome tree. Um, it goes up. Real quick, as far as sticking it, uh, the things in there, and then you don't, it, it's memory from last year, and so it just pops out, oh, and you don't really have to do memory much. From the, memory from the factory. Memory from the factory. We never had to shape it. Oh, okay. But it came from Sam, so it's super fast, and then you give all the kids their bag of ornaments, and they put them on there, and boom, you're done. See how that looks? I made this for Christmas. So if you guys haven't watched the Max videos from today, it was super hilarious. Um, maybe one of our mods can put the link in there to it, but they switched roles and, um, we got to kind of poke fun of each other, but it was super funny, especially when they got the giggles and couldn't quit laughing. I have a feeling Cassie would take it a little too far. See, we tried that. Yeah, here. Colby seemed to be enjoying it. Who's going to start singing Christmas songs? Joanne wants to know. Oh, okay, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas That's what we, remember, that's what we do at the end. Usually at the end, they when we're finished, they stand around and hold hands. Am I that ugly? I know facts matter. That was hilarious. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle You guys asked for it. We're going to get demonetized. Barb, that is awesome. No, it's on the farm. I love to ride the ponies on the Way. on the hay. <laughs> on the um, hay. Barb's uh, daughter woke up from coma and is doing great. Oh, that awesome. is for sure a praise. Thanks, thank you, Jesus, for that. That is awesome. I love to ride the horses on the hay. There's been so many people I've heard of lately that's doing well from that, like recovery. So. Christmas is coming. Christmas is coming. Don't be. All right, that's that's good, guys. Okay. 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 Christmas is coming, so don't I cry or don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're mixing a bunch of songs together. So I put my phone on. Um, fix this. I have to have some hooks. You, do you see Here. hooks laying around? No. We don't want the. This green one's ones, do we? beautiful. Yeah, we'll put it. So you got that. it. 
Um, Ranger says this one's beautiful. Where'd it come from? I made Random? it. Random? Oh, you made it? I made it? Oh, that's when you put that stuff in it? Yeah, and then oh, I shook cool. it up. Um, what was I saying? I put it on um, you oh, said, um, <laughs> I don't even remember what I was saying. You said, um, three times. There you go. It'll come back to About me. About singing Christmas. I said you guys are putting all the songs together. Yeah, here, take the whole bag. Take this bag first. Take this bag first and put it up. Oh, I thought it was going to break. Luckily, we don't have breakable ones. Yeah, we have some. Something happened with this order. Um, someone asked what the brand of that tree is, babe. Members Mark. Members Market, yeah, because it's a it's from Sam's Club and their brand is Members Members Market. Oh, here's my probably my favorite ornament. Yeah, one of my really pretty. So it would be a Members Market brand. Happy birthday! You guys say Happy birthday to Jesus. Happy birthday, hmm. Jesus! No, it's happy Hang on, Elaine, told me what I was talking about. It's so Hang on, I'm gonna forget again. I put my phone on airplane mode so that no one could call me. Hey. And so, I, hang on. I'm only using the Wi-Fi for this um, stream. So, is it is it coming in really good? Or is it blurry? Uh, what's it look like? So, thank you, Elaine. Thank you so much for listening and knowing what I said. Oh, look at that one. Kind of Beautiful. Not so loud. Okay. Thank you, Sweeney's Creek Farm. So glad you're here. I don't think I've seen... Actually, I think I've seen your name in the comments lately. Um, Mrs. Red Rustic Woodworking Family. Stephanie, how are you? So we've had a lot of new people commenting on the channel lately. So um, thank you guys for that. We truly appreciate it. Um, I try to, when I see new channels commenting on, the, on our videos, I try to go check their channel out and stuff like that. So... It's always fun. Come here. He's making a list. He's checking Ranger. it twice. 476. 302 thumbs up. Let's get some more thumbs up with that. Um, I was saying earlier, we've never really paid attention to how many people we've got in here. So we have no clue how what the most is. So whatever we get tonight, that's Ranger. what we're calling it. So uh, make sure you share. You got to do it like this, sissy. Make sure you share on Facebook or somewhere that we're live decorating our tree and let's see how many we can get. We could actually make a boomer sooner tree if we got like a small one. Maybe someday. When the kids have more decorations just from them. Then... Our Oki Homestead. Yes, um, I have. I need to go over there and watch a few more videos and stuff. Um... Sherry Moss says it's very clear. Awesome. We have um, we have fiber, so it, we, it should be clear. So another bag here. Okay, Mama. I think that's it. This is okay. from when I used to teach at Salina. This is where um, Kevin and Dutch and I and Rachel um, all went to school, and I taught there for seven years. So yeah, it's an ornament from there. Mama. You're gonna hang it up. Um, can we can we just sing a Christmas song? You, how about you guys sing your school Christmas song that I love that you and Mazzy both have a part? Which yeah. one? Which one? Okay, so this is all of our second. decorations are second. empty now. So success. Mike and Terry, how you doing? Okay, hang on. Mazzy, got to come over here. Hang on. The ki so the kids have a program, a Christmas program at school every year, and it's really want, awesome. I don't want to sing it looking at this. Okay. Um, they tell the, the story of Jesus' birth, and it's always really awesome. It's, you, it's always different, um, the songs and things. And this year they have a song that Ranger and Mazzy um, sing together, and it sounds beautiful. They sing it in the car a lot going to and from school, and it always... Um, Really blesses my heart. So let's see if they'll sing it. If it gets us demonetized, oh well, it'll be worth it. All right, kids. She's not coming. Mazzy, you, you want to just sing it from over there, baby? Yes. Okay, okay come stand here, it. though, so the mic will pick you up, and I'll you don't have to be in front of the camera. Right, I'll sing it. So they don't want to stand right in front of the camera, so. Right here, Mazzy. Okay, wait, ready? I want to count you guys down. You ready? Ranger, you're starting? Yeah. Three, two, one, action. Beth. 
It's okay, sissy. You can do it. No one can see you. No one can see you, sissy. Do you sissy. want Bobo to sing all of it? Okay. It's okay if you don't want to it. Do it was a good try. <laughs> Ranger, you want to do a song just by yourself? I'll do all of it. Okay. okay. And Nazi, join in whenever you feel like it, okay? Well, you want to sing the second part? Okay. Uh, Lori said that Ma Mazzy was singing really good. So Mazzy has a beautiful voice, just like Ranger. He did a great job. But when she's on the, sp on the spot and things, she gets a little nervous. But she's, she loves singing with a group or just singing, playing around, okay? Ranger, you did awesome. Good job, buddy. So Takes the, a lot of courage. So the tree is up, and now it's time for our favorite Christmas snack. Uh oh! Uh, yes, brownies. I don't know, but no, not I'm not supposed to well. eat after seven, and it's seven twenty-six, so it better be worth it. Oh, Ranger, you want to help, Daddy? What is it? It's brownies. It's brownies. Brownies. Ranger, everybody is saying brownies. thank you. That was beautiful. You just kicked oh, off their holiday season. That was awesome. Brownies. Great yes. job, Ranger. Better than brownies. Uh, Lori, that's true. That probably was our biggest lie. So, okay, so Chad at Adler Farm Thank said you. that these um, Christmas tree cakes are organic. Yeah. I didn't even know they were organic. Who knew, so Chad? I bought, so I bought a box, and, um, yeah, oh, there's four. So me and Cassie will split one. There's only four in a box? Well, there's, I think there's five. Who's one, been eating them? One of them must have disappeared. That me. I ate one. You only get five in a box? That's a ripoff. That's a big box for just five. Well, I could have ten. Hey. I could stuff twelve in here. They're they're probably thinking that you probably don't need to eat more than five <laughs> of these. Um, yeah, but we have five. Pieces. You know what would go well with these, Ranger? Eggnog. Yeah, we honestly do not buy these or keep them in the house. That's why the kids are going nuts. We don't hardly keep stuff like ever. This. We don't keep like little Debbies and stuff. In and the if house. we do, they stay at the top of the pantry, and they only get it like Wait, once every mean? couple of weeks. Oh, and Ranger has a, the perfect, um... Oh, Darlene, that, okay. It's not even seven on the West Coast yeah. yet, so I can eat all I want. Also, our favorite holiday drink, non-alcoholic... like a thousand calorie Non-alcoholic eggnog. So if you, you're going to go big, you go big or go home. So if you Mama. go big, look how small these are. All right, are. if you guys like eggnog, let's see a thumbs up. If you dislike eggnog... Let's do a thumbs down. I'm not sure we can be friends if you don't like it. I can be friends with people who don't like eggnog. That needs more eggnog for me. Yeah, Mama. Lori said these are really good with coffee. Mama, when you said Darlene, Nana, Darlene? No, a different one. Oh. I just really? drank some decaf coffee a while ago because oh. I was wanting more coffee, but I don't need to be up all night, so I drank decaf coffee. Coffee. You want a little bit of eggnog? Yeah, just about half of that little cup. Mixy cup. Even have though it's not seven inside. on the West Coast. Half cream inside. I repeat, cream type. <laughs> and this is eggnog from Brahms um, Ice Cream and Dairy Store, one of our local oh, dairy stores. We got some thumbs down, but mostly thumbs up. Oh, we got some throwing up faces. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, a lot of thumbs down. Someone said they only like it. Oh, there's a lot Jackie of said she only down likes there. it if it's really cold. Down. This is super cold. Straight out of the fridge. Up, super up, cold. Up, up, up. Up, 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 up. Heart, 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 heart. Boiled custard. Heart. Ransom doesn't up, like up, it. I'll up, take up, it. Up, up. There's some throw up face faces. <laughs> it's okay. You yeah, that's throw up okay. Face. 
stuff. If you uh -oh. having throat, Green Acres bird said it's 820 right in Virginia. <laughs> Lori, you've never tried you eggnog? Go get you some tomorrow. It's only certain you times of the year. Life, okay. Oh, goodness. Mama, can we drink hot chocolate? Eggnog tastes good in coffee. Gary? Oh. You have anything to say about that? So I use eggnog as a creamer during the holiday season. So Someone instead, said they like it in their coffee. Instead of a creamer, I just put, you know, like a couple of tablespoons or three tablespoons in my coffee. Which that's what he says, but he has pumpkin spice latte creamer in the fridge. I have pumpkin spice too. Gary's a basic white girl. He loves no, pumpkin spice. When the season comes out, like when, when Thanksgiving hits, <laughs> I have to get a thing of it. The rest of the year, it's either... Uh, you like these? Sugar, sugar free French vanilla is what we've been drinking. <laughs> but I'm gonna not just drink split sugar free um, when it's holiday season, like Cream. Thanksgiving. People say eggnog a is Christmas good. pudding, spice Egg boil fruit cake, sort of. Eggnog huh. is, people say eggnog is good poured <coughs> over vanilla ice cream. Oh. I just get eggnog ice cream at Brahms. She, someone said <coughs> I can't drink it. Okay, who's trying to kill me? <coughs> they have a sprinkle in our thing. You You're okay, right, Susie? Sis? You want to get down? You okay? <coughs> Why are people Sissy? laughing? Nope. <coughs> Mazzy has a gag reflex. She's okay. You good? You good? Okay. Cool. So, Mazzy's done that ever since she was a baby, and we usually don't react to it, and people's like, oh, is she okay? But you'd rather people just leave you alone, wouldn't you? Every time we cough, Hope or Paige or Abigail or Erica or anyone says that, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> they worry about you. It sounds really bad, but she's done that since she was a baby. We went to lots of... Um, since I have my allergies, it sounded really bad. Yeah, but we took her to lots of specialists and had lots of tests and nothing's wrong. She just has a gag reflex. Ranger, a tiny, tiny bit. He's getting more eggnog. Oh, no. Ranger. That's enough. Sugar. He is getting. So that's why we also drink out of Dixie enough. cups because we don't want to drink a whole lot of it. It's got a lot of sugar in it. Michael, we'll put it in the fridge, please. Eggnog for me. Okay, go put it in the fridge, please. Thank you. Eggnog all right. So, you. all right. So if you don't put your Christmas tree up on um, November twenty first, when do you guys put your Christmas trees up? Have you already put them up, or are you about to put it up? Because this just kind of worked out with our schedule. Usually we do wait till like the <laughs> okay, Nancy, day after I won't Thanksgiving. Ask. <laughs> um, what are you saying? Our hues are home. Yes. Yeah, so, huh? What are you saying? She said she can't eat nut bag anymore, but and she won't tell us why. Oh. <laughs> or you don't know want to want to know why or something. Can um, I bring my book? Should I read it? No, not not. Out. No, in my head. Yeah, she can. Sit oh, there yeah, you can sit there and read it, but not <laughs> not out loud, Sissy. Um. So. I mean, maybe for a tiny bit, but. I, um, I guess they call it intermittent, intermittent fasting. I've done that on and off for a little bit, but I'm not like extreme about it or anything like that. But during busy times of the year, especially basketball season or when the kids have a lot going on or if I'm stressed, I find myself in the pantry at 10 o'clock at night. So um, I've made a rule of not, well, I mean, I didn't develop this, right but don't eat after seven o'clock. Here, we'll sit beside me. And right. then I don't. Eat again till usually nine o'clock in the morning. I have coffee, but I try not to eat until nine o'clock in the morning. And that has really helped. I lost 10 pounds pretty quick once I quit munching and snacking at 10 p.m. So Gary buying stuff like this doesn't help, but hey. I'm not gonna buy any more. I buy that once a year. I buy the pumpkin spice as soon as it's the Thanksgiving season. And I don't know, I'm just a sucker for seasonal stuff. If it was uh, New Year's Day, I might be eating black eyed peas. Um, so somebody said December because they <laughs> put up a real tree. So that's one thing about a real tree. You, there's no way you could put it up yet, probably because it would die before then. Someone said, I do it when I get tired of listening to the hubby whine that they aren't up. <laughs> we still have to do all the other decorations. We still have to take down all the fall wow. stuff. That was less than 30 minutes. Yeah. It's only 7.30. Yeah, we... You were supposed to take an hour. We move fast around here. We don't... Eat the rest of that so I won't. What's really helped is every year we organize them into the bags. Used to we had to go this through like a whole bunch. That's fine. Yep. And now we um, have them all ready to go so the kids can take their own bag. 
And then when they're done with it, they can come back and get another bag. That's cool, Jackie. But I how long would you leave it up then so you could enjoy it longer? What did she do? Uh, when she was growing up, they put their Christmas tree up on December 24th. Her, da her dad would check the lights to make sure that they were working good. And then Santa Claus would decorate their tree. Ooh. December 24th? Yeah, I don't... I, I Like... <laughs> to me, the work that goes into it makes me want to do it. Did you earlier. keep it up till Valentine's Day? Um, Everyone loves that star that we've hated. <laughs> the star? Yeah, we like it. But can they see the star? Might turn tilt it just a tiny bit. Wait, the star's up there. <gasps> star. It. You can't tell, but it's changing colors. But on this camera, I it just looks tell. like it's glitchy. Yeah, it I changes. It's like this LED sparkle. So Gary and I have the perfect star in mind. Like I said, Gary's Mr. Christmas and kind of a tree tree snob. I'm kind of a star snob. And we have this perfect star in mind, but we can't find it. So we've had several over the years. This one's it's, our favorite so far, but still not. Sherry, you're spot on. When you don't have to string the lights up, it saves you a ton of time. So when you can just put three pieces together and then... Bye, Sandra. Thank you so much for... Uh, by. Plug it in, then it's way better than having to string all string all the lights up. So Karen said that growing up, Santa Claus decorated her tree too, and it stayed up till February first. Um, we like fudge, but in small quantities. It's yeah. so so rich. Like I can only eat a little bit at a time, and um, so a small amount of fudge we like, but we just don't. We're not into a lard very much. A lot of it. <laughs> Janie, that's possibly why. She said her parents put the tree up on Christmas Eve, probably because they were marked down. <laughs> yeah. Got a good deal on it. You know what? That would be the best time to buy. <laughs> Pauline's getting you from this morning. <laughs> oh, so we had a sound issue at our church this morning. And if you're not familiar, um, Cassie and I do the uh, audio... Oh, we do the visual. Um, well, I guess I do the cameras and you do the words and stuff. Yeah, we do the video. We don't do like the sound audio with the mics and all that. We don't do that stuff. But There's us at church. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, I took a picture this morning. And there's we've got two computers doing our... Four computers total. ...words and then two computers controlling the cameras. Well, this morning... And three cameras? They're transitioning from what an old computer to a brand new Mac. And this morning... Um, something had happened with the sound and instead of it picking up all of our microphones and all of our inputs for our audio, it was picking up the audio from our computer. <laughs> so it was not good. You could hear everything Cassie could say and I said And I it. can't talk quiet. I luckily, when, when we start it, I, I watch it on my phone the whole time and read comments and things and I make sure everything's good and every so often I unmute it, make sure it's good and I was listening to it and I was like, hey, good morning. Talk. And then I heard myself, I was like, I can hear myself. <laughs> so luckily no one said anything embarrassing before we figured it out. So then all the sound got muted. Then it came back on. So it was a hot mess, but we made it work. Yeah, we made it through it. Gertrude Hawk store. I've never heard of that. Somebody asked if we have a Gertrude Hawk store. Mm. Um, Someone said Rob, I think it was. I'm not sure where it went. Rob Cole, after 7 p.m. is rough for me. I need to do your method. Great job. Yeah, it just really helps me to um, not get caught in the pantry or open in the fridge a thousand times, especially after the kids go to bed. Or we do a lot of our editing, well, 90% of our editing when the kids, after the kids go to bed. So it's real easy just to sit on the couch, edit this, you know, our video and just eat some snacks. So after seven, it's water or stuff like this that is zero calories. Pickles, some pickles are also zero calorie. Things like that if I really need to munch on something. But usually if I just drink something, I'm good because I'm really not starving to death. I ate all day. <laughs> hey, Michelle from Amish country in Pennsylvania. Cool. We have a few Amish around here, but I don't think they're quite as Amish as <laughs> so the ones in Pennsylvania. <laughs> it's oh, a chocolate it's store. It's a chocolate store. Okay. No, I haven't. we hadn't heard of it. Um, Jackie, right? <laughs> Uh, sends us stuff from Michael Moots, a chocolate store in Pennsylvania. Yeah. It's super awesome. Yeah, we've had that before, and it is some of the best chocolate. So I think it's a local place. Whenever we visit Pennsylvania on our 50 states in five years, it is on the list to visit. We edit our videos on this iPad right here using iMovie. So that's how we edit all of our videos. Um, if we video on our phone, we airdrop it over to the iPad. If we use the GoPro or the um, Canon, we 
put them on the iPad um, using this little handy dandy contraption to go in our iPad and then put them in there. And then we airdrop them to the iPad. So we love Apple products and these are really rich. So yeah, like you I have to, to stop. Have to have some water to go with that. And then we edit on iMovie. It's the easiest thing for us. It has just enough options to make the video flow and add some flair to it. I don't know, but it's super basic in. Uh, so do you, 560, what 560 you, people in here. So are you guys getting together with family this year for Thanksgiving? I know we are um, getting to do that. Last year was kind of, um, a lot of people weren't traveling because the airlines weren't fully opened up, but hopefully this year you guys are going to get to spend Thanksgiving. I know we've got our Christmas tree up, but it is almost Thanksgiving. Hopefully you get to spend Thanksgiving with um, your family and see all of them. Oh, um, Jackie's on here, so... I think she was talking about the chocolate store. Oh, yep. Whoops. Um, only in the Wilkes Bar area, sorry. Only one store, family owned. Yeah, Jackie, that's a, and when I looked it up and saw that because I was I was curious, um, Michael Moots, I was curious if they had like a chain or if that was it, but it's just a family store. Really, really good. And I bet it's cool to live close whenever they have like you can go in and it, maybe if they're making the chocolate, you know, it's like still warm or fresh. That was probably really, really good. Uh, Brendan said he already had one of his Thanksgivings today, rustic woodworking family. So do you already had some turkey and stuffing? Oh. <laughs> Did you get your fair share? <laughs> I know a lot of times people's families will do like Mexican or random things because they get so tired of turkey and dressing and stuff. Or but... or they'll do that for Christmas because they had all the turkey well, and yeah, dressing for true. Thanksgiving. Uh, remember uh, the Parkers used to do like wild game and stuff. Everybody would bring different wild game um, and stuff to cook. So Gloria Zena is doing awesome. She is recovering well. I gave her her last pain medicine today. And <laughs> can't order a pizza. she has to stay by herself. So that's her only problem right now is I don't want to put her in with the goats yet. Probably about four or five more days and we'll be able to transition her into the, with the goats. But she's doing awesome, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Carolyn and her husband are driving from South Carolina to South Florida to be to spend Thanksgiving with her daughter and her family. So Our Oki Homestead, they're smoking two turkeys for their family. Mm. Do you like pumpkin pie? I like any kind of pie that ends with the word pie. <laughs> so a pumpkin qualifies. No, I love... Pumpkin pie, my favorite is probably pecan pie. And um, pumpkin, though. That's is, cool, Rob. It's right up there. Like, the pumpkin, pecan's a 10, pumpkin's like an 8. So, we have a plan this year to um, harvest one of our turkeys that I have been growing out. I mean, I don't know what's a proper term for that. But um, they were hatched out like six months ago. And. Um, I had hatched out several, if you guys remember. I sold some, and then I kept two. And then Bo over at Moorhead Homestead gave me some um, that he wasn't wanting. So we still have Tesla, but then we have two more, and one is going to be for Thanksgiving. Hopefully, we can get two that this week. So somebody asked how the alpaca Ooh, the and the pony are doing. They, I haven't seen them do what they were doing on our video the other day since then. So if you guys are, have not watched our last video of Catching Up with the Walkers, whenever we took Xena um, to the vet, I had a calf that I was dealing with that was sick. And then our um, alpacas tried to be friends with the I'll pony. I'll be right back. They tried uh, being too good of friends. So uh, it was quite comical. Cassie's more or less turning our farm into a funny farm by uh, <laughs> putting all those animals together. But... Anyway, they're they're doing good. Ransom, you want to come say hi? Oh, you already did. You want to say hi again? Hey, tell them what we did today. It's gonna to be on a different video. It won't be anytime soon, probably. Probably be a few days. Tell them what we did today. Uh. What did we haul off? The cats. So we took cows to the cell barn today. Um. We uh. Hauled off five calves. Uh, they were all probably 450 to 500 pounds. There we go, thank you um, for that. Rustic Woodworking Family, thanks Brandon, we appreciate it. Um, oh, you smoke backstrap. We love backstrap. 
But no, we didn't separate the pony and alpaca yet. They're doing fine right now. Uh, sometimes they try to do that also as dominance, not not necessarily um, anything else. So we'll we'll keep a close eye on them. But we'll be building a couple new pins soon uh, for our goats, and probably build one for the pony. So it won't be long. She'll have her own spot. So pecan pie. Your mom makes the best pecan pie, Leanne. I. I have cooked one or two pecan pies, and to me, it's one of the hardest things to get set up, like to get a consistency that's just right. Um, it is very tough to uh, to get a pumpkin pie. So I don't know what your trick is, but it's kind of tough for me the times I've tried it to get it set up. Oh, I hear Cassie coming back. Yes, we hope you do have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And they love your shirt, Ransom. She's back. Did you miss me? Did you I, do a good job? I, you know, we talked about the pony pack a little bit. Oh, geez, I'm not telling what you said. I didn't say anything you wouldn't say. Yes, baby. Hey, Ed. Oh, you cleaning Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. We worked hard on it for like 25 minutes. <laughs> we got the tree up. Yeah, if you're just uh, joining us, the tree was at the beginning and then Ransom, I mean, Ranger sang an awesome song. You'll have to go back in. Idaho Hoosier, you've never eaten pecan pie? Wow. It's one of my favorites. You yeah, gotta try it's it. it's my favorite. I like pumpkin, but I will eat pecan pie over pumpkin. So what are we day. supposed to bring to dinner, Thanksgiving dinner? Do you know yet? Z uh, zero idea. I thought I was bringing a turkey. Well, let's not plan on bringing the whole turkey because if we skin it, we're gonna bring the turkey breast and the legs. Remember? Okay. That's not going to be like a big roasted turkey. Just saying. I would have, I think, a couple, uh, another option too. Potato salad? Jeez. Oh, you know what we're going to have? <sighs> what? We're going to have a thing to put so, a plate on, and then we're going to eat. Uh, Lori, to Lori J. At school? <clears throat> I'm not going to put the pony in with the, the cows way. because a ponies usually chase baby calves. Oh, that's cool. But we, we did just empty our cow pasture. And I told Cassie earlier today, if she wanted to put the pony in there, we could put the pony in the cow pasture. She said it would be hard for her to catch it, but I think if we make a little pin just to catch it in, that we'll probably do that. So what do you think? Um, I wasn't listening. Pony in the cow pasture? Yeah. The, the one that's empty now. We need to make a stall like we had at Rose. Yeah, just one stall where we can bring him in and catch it. That's the main main thing because mm -hmm. it gets hungry. Or we can bring it into the pen where we pick the... Hey, Walt Moore, Dan Wilson, thank you so much for being here. Um, see you, Green, Green Acres Bird. See you, Hank. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it. No, making the pony sick. No, the pony hasn't been sick. It's been in good health. Yeah. We just, we've only had it a week. Yeah. It hasn't been sick. No. Nope. And the, the feed that we feed the, um, all of our animals is a 14% um, four-way feed. It's got a mix of grains and corn, and pretty much anything can eat it. Goats can eat it. Cows can eat it. Horses can eat it. Um, Cassie's dad feeds it to his horses. Uh, it's just a really good all-around um, feed. So. Oh, she meant, they meant um, some cattle feed can make them sick. Uh-oh. What are you telling me? He's looking at yourself. Ransom likes watching himself. Hey, Marge, Marge P. Mar. Hello, how are you doing? Pumpkin pie is the best. I do agree. Even store bought pumpkin pie is good. Yeah. <laughs> Back to Sam's Club. We Sam's Club has a pumpkin pie that's like this big around. It's bigger than your head. Um, we shop there. I shop there in the middle of the week sometimes. That's uh, cool, Melanie. You want down, buddy, or you can stay up here? If you keep Waller and you're gonna have to move. Here, why don't you come sit on my lap? Hey, Troy, I'm oh. glad we're your favorite channel. That's pretty awesome. So, um, Lori just linked with LG Homestead, just linked, check, uh, check it out, catching up with the walkers. So Brandon over at Rustic Woodwork and Family, he helped us with our logo and they make t-shirts and stuff. He just sent us these t-shirts. But we do have another channel called Catching Up with the Walkers. Um, where we talk about different topics and things like that. Uh, we were just doing kind of like podcast type things, but we're now making actual videos over there, well, and you guys seem to like that. So, and we're still we still have our coffee talk once a week, and it seems like it was just hard to do that 
yeah, all, consistently. consistently. And and um, hard for me, like it's hard for me just to sit down in a chair for 25 minutes or 20 minutes or 15 minutes. I can talk all day. Um, so you might just see uh, the next catch up with the walker <laughs> will be Cassie talking to the camera. Uh, she's got a topic to cover. That'd be good. One other thing I was going to add, though, is... Is Sam's Cubs like co Costco? We are trying yes. to get 10,000 page followers over on Facebook. So if, I know a lot of our YouTube people. I know if you're not into Facebook, that's fine. Don't don't even bother with it. But if you do have a Facebook account and you use it, um, you might check and see if you're following our page, um, Walker Farm Fam, over on Facebook. If you follow along, it helps us to get to our 10,000 goal. We would love to get to 10,000 by the end of the year. It's kind of a, a goal that we have. So if you could help out there, we appreciate it. We appreciate all you guys all, all the time watching, but... That's just one more thing we're trying to get to yep. as we continue to grow on these different um, platforms. Yeah, we uh, truly would truly appreciate that. I can't talk. So I'm trying to get the link real quick if I'm Yeah, Cassie can put it over there. Tech savvy. Oh, Marge follows over there. Thank you, Marge. Um, yeah, we usually put stuff on our Instagram stories and Facebook um, stories. stories. Uh, before it usually goes on to YouTube, it's kind of more up to date other than the videos, but just fun little things. And we put stuff with the kids. So let's see if this works. So LG Homestead, how's the puppy doing the, um, that your dad got? Is it doing well? I, I assume it is. It was about as healthy as a puppy I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Its feet were like that big and its belly was um, plenty big. But those puppies were very healthy. So. so if you click on that, that should send you over to our Facebook page. Let me know if it doesn't. And if you would just hit that like, it says like follow or like or something. It has a thumbs up at the very top. Um, and that's how you start following us. And uh, we'd appreciate it. Awesome. Buddy is doing great, she said. So they named the puppy Buddy. That's a perfect Thank you, name. Karen Custer. I think it fits it really well. And yes, I, he's going to be really big. Thanks um, so much, Vicky. Zena weighs 85 pounds, so I don't know if Liz, I... lots of people are doing a good job. Awesome, you thank remembered. you. So I don't know if um, if you watched the video where we took Zena to get spayed the other day, but when she got weighed in at the vet, she's 85 pounds, and she's a lean dog. Like yeah. she's not like thick; she's no. just big. So it's pretty amazing um, uh, to uh, see how how big she's actually getting. Thank you, Tina. Um, I saw a message from you, Jackie, pop up <laughs> over on um, Facebook. Thank you. We, 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 no uh, worries. Yeah, there's no worries. There's no expectation, <laughs> but um, you are a blessing to us. Hey, so thank Dale, you. I think someone has talked to uh, us about pump back before. Was that you? Dale uh, Walden, do you fish? I used to fish at pump back. No, Dale, but I've been keeping my eye out for a pump back boat. So we are... I'm wanting... I fished there growing up, but we don't have a pump back boat to go out there on because, you, I... as you know, you have to have a special boat. I've also been looking at manufacturers of just electric motors um, because Thank you, Debbie. you know battery powered and electric Cher Cheryl. electric motors are getting bigger and bigger. So if we could find an electric motor for a boat that would work on pump back, uh, like a legit one, I think that would be really cool to do a pump back boat build with something other than just trolling motors. And if you hear the kids, they're in there playing, they're not arguing, but they're- They're good. Like wrestling or something. Um, so yeah, lots oh. of people adding us on Facebook. Thank you so much. Also, also, we got our Christmas lights up yesterday. We could end the live later by showing them the Christmas lights. Even yeah. though at nighttime, they don't really, it's not as good, but we can still end it that well, way. At nighttime, it is good, but on the phone, it's hard to pick it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, thank you. Teresa and Beverly and um, Laura, lots of people saying they added us. And some people saying that they usually watch us on their Roku, but they decided to add uh, watch it on their phone tonight, so they're able to comment. Awesome. Thank you, uh, Georgia. So, cool. We appreciate you guys so much. I, I don't think we ever say that um, enough because without you, we would have zero views yeah. and we wouldn't really have a channel. So thank you guys so much. You you make our channel. You are it. Like you're the reason <laughs> that we make the video tomorrow and the video after that. It's all for you guys and because of you guys. And our memories, but yeah. And our memories, but you guys are the main thing. So thank you so much to each and every one of you guys. I just want to say that. Um, Vicky asked if we've had a skunk visit lately. No more skunks. 
think that was the only one we on the farm. We did have a possum the other night. Yeah. And I didn't do anything with it because it was really late and may have been raining, raining. But um, you hear my Oklahoma coming out raining. Yeah. Um, I didn't even notice it. That's how you say it. Someone said they like your shirt. Oh, thanks. Uh, subscriber sent this to me. Farmer. Farmer Rob. Rob, is, that's no. what I was thinking. I just want to work on my farm. And hang out with my cattle. <laughs> so I don't wear this shirt very often because I uh, just don't. I don't know why, but it's a it's a fun one. So someone asked if we got a skunk ornament in memory of our uh, live adventure. So we need like a skunk ornament with a YouTube on it because we have a skunk ornament from a previous. It's still skunk it, ordeal. It makes us think of that too, though. Yeah. So, but we need one with like the YouTube symbol so we'll know. Hey, that's when we went live and killed that skunk. <laughs> Yeah. Laura, the baby calf is doing great. Um, I just saw it out with its mama earlier. We hauled off five um, older calves this evening to Tulsa. Me and Ransom did. You can only follow so many people, Lucinda. That's kind of crazy. Oh. I didn't know that. She said she tried, but she had too many, so she's going to have to delete some people. Hmm. Let's think. Who can you delete? <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, yes, Sherry. Thank you. Sorry. Go ahead. That was it. Oh. Yeah, the calf's doing good though. It's up, it's eating, it's doing well, it's running out with the herd and... Thanks, Jack Barker. I was concerned about it though, just because it was... The day I saw it hey, sitting out here, it was laying on its side with its head over. And usually calves should have their feet like this and like head down, kind of like a puppy dog, but... Thank you, Karen. Thank you so much for watching. Someone said, where was it? Um, are there any chipmunks in the Christmas tree? I hope not. <laughs> oh, you can only have 5,000. Oh, dang. You can find somebody out of 5,000 to unfollow. That's a lot. That's crazy. I didn't know you could only have 5,000. We, we still don't 100% know how Facebook works. Like, no, we don't. Not that anybody does. As soon as I about figured out, they did update it, and it's completely different. Not that anybody knows how Facebook works, but... We we have a video on there that's got 1.2 million views, and we have no clue how or why because we could never do that if we tried. And then we got another video that's pushing 400k views. Both of them are coyote uh, coyote videos, what's so the coyote? I guess people like that. What's the coyote video up to? One point. One point two, but they're both coyotes. The first coyote video is at almost 400k. The first one we put on there. Then the one that said he's back has 1.2 million. Wow. So, wanted to look at a pumpback boat was the first post from five, five So, a pumpback boat. So There's one in, on sale for sale in private for 300 bucks? That's right up my app. That's my budget. <laughs> um, so, a pumpback boat Where is, was that on Craigslist? is just a boat that goes onto a lake that has no electric motors allowed. So, there's... Oh, five miles of cell site. So, Never there's no <laughs> gas motor on the boat. It's just electric, battery yeah, powered. That part of the lake does not allow gas motors. Well, that lake, it's a whole lake. But they bring it into Lake Hudson. No, but they pump the water up oh, to gotcha. it. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, that's it's why it's called pump back. Okay. Technicalities. Bubba, 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 All right, see what we got to deal with here? Imagine that. They thought hey. you guys were all perfect. Mom, I kind of want to play nice. that. Hey, go put some stuff no. on. But who's playing Sunday Night Football? I got it on mute so I could look back over and I forgot to. Cindy Allen said, Miss... Uh-oh, Pittsburgh and L.A. Chargers. No, Cindy, I'm not a preacher. Cassie's dad's a preacher. Yeah. Um, I am a, <laughs> a Christian and I do like to share um, Christ with other people, but I'm, I'm not a preacher. Um, yeah, that was a secret, but he was talking really loud. <laughs> I don't know why, Gary, but that shirt reminds me of that old 80s song by Todd Rundgren, Bang the Drum All Day. Hmm. Like the album cover? Like the, the artwork on it or something? Hi, I have a question for you. All right, Cindy, what's the question? Oh, that, <laughs> are you a preacher was her question. Um, buttermilk or sweet yep, potato? Yeah, Lori, I'm a PK. Yeah, she's a preacher's kid. They, if you guys um, didn't know, preacher's kids are the worst. 
Is the baby calf a bull or a heifer? You know, through all of that, Cassie always blames me. Like, and thus I'm never getting, does he remember to look. Unless, or I do look sometimes, and I don't, I don't remember later. Yeah, and then he's like, I don't know, I look, but I can't remember. He's supposed to write. I this think it was down. a bull calf, if I remember right. Yeah, bulls are, are the bulls are usually the weakest. It, it was a bull calf, um, but. You just said you had no clue, and then you said no. It was a bull calf. Well, I'm thinking about it because I did look, but I can like, and also we have six calves, so it was a bull calf, and I'm gonna get all the calves up in the next couple of weeks, and Cassie and I are gonna band them all. Cindy all the ones that are bulls. That I think her, I got four. Her feed froze when you answered. Are you a preacher? No, I'm not a preacher. We, we help at our church as we can. and Oh, we, I know that song, Jackie. This, the song is, I don't want to work, I just want to bang on the drum all day. <laughs> I'd sing it for you, but no one wants to hear me sing. Ranger hey, sings much better than me. The last time we were live, our preacher was actually in here. Yeah. Jeff Blair. He's probably watching incognito hey, to make Jeff, sure I don't embarrass him. We're going to talk about you right now. <laughs> so when do you want to talk about your preacher? How was the sermon today? What did you say about me being a PK kid? Because Lori said they are, Gary. The worst? Do you know why preacher's kids are like they are? Because they're Because they hang out with the deacon's kids. Oh, there you go. Oh, goodness. All right, so we've got how much time? We're going to have to get the kids in bed. Oh, we're at 66 minutes. It's 8 p.m. Oh. All right, we got we got five minutes. If you guys got any questions, we're going to have to get the kids in bed because... Why are you saying was a bull calf? Like past tense. You're not meaning it that way, though. Huh? You you should have said is a bull calf. Yeah, the bull... Someone asked why you're saying was. Oh, no, it's a bull calf. We're going to get all of our calves up in the next couple weeks, all our fall calves. And we're going to tag them. We're going to give them their black leg shot. And we're going to castrate all the bulls um, all at the same time. Cassie's going to be here for it. If I could call Chad too, maybe and get him down. Dill asked if either of us went to NSU. Oh, here we go. We do have 30 minutes. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh, he's going to get something. What do you have? I don't want to go your through diploma? and try to find my... <laughs> I was going to get my NSU shirt. I have an NSU shirt. Oh. No, I went to NSU class of 07. Uh, the last of the... Darlene, that's funny. The last of the Redmen. They changed to the Riverhawks, but um, 07 was the last year they were Redmen. Um, Darlene said, Gary, they do have different parts. Yeah, they do. Um, but when you look at like six, seven calves, I don't know. They, I, hey, Pam V. She said she can't wait to meet us in March. Yes. You want to we, talk a little bit about that? So the Homesteading Expo, and if you guys have, aren't familiar... Thank our, you, Cindy. We are the best. Our Homesteading Expo um, Day 1 event is going to be... NSU is Northeastern State University in Tahlequah, Oklahoma. So it's about 20 miles from here, 25. That's, and it's the best school in, I think, the whole world. All right, follow along. I said to ask about the Okie Homestead. You talked about NSU. They, there was a comment that said, what is NSU? Oh. <laughs> so, Okie Homesteading. Day one um, is going to be here. That's why we're, one of the reasons we're building our own freezer camp. We're building a cold room um, in our shipping container. If you guys have seen it on the recent videos, that's why. Um, we're going to be able to um, hang a, a hog there to chill overnight. And then day two, they're going to take it over Thanks, to... Thanks, Brandon. ...to the... Um, Ex fairgrounds. fairgrounds and they're going to do day two over there um continuing to process it but we're going to get it chilled here and we're going to host the 10 to 15 people they sold tickets to um are going to be here at our house that day so we're excited if you're day one we're going to meet you in person um at walker farm we're super excited delane said get a perigo perigo way for the lake oh uh, i'm gonna get a boat or one of those kayaks, like a fishing kayak. Well, but maybe that's a type of boat. She's like, is there lady. anything that your family, lo your family love to f fix for Thanksgiving that is unique to your family? My sister always makes green bean casserole. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that's her, unique to her Her family. sister makes a corn casserole. Yeah. Lucinda. She that, makes the green bean casserole too. That is really good. And it's every Christmas that I think of is, um, it's there. No, I think everything else is pretty Connie, cool. 
Bo, thank you so much for watching both channels. We appreciate that. We're going to be making a lot of deviled eggs because as I look over here into our kitchen, I see about three dozen eggs that we need to use up. Cassie. Uh, Cindy said, I would like to send you a book titled, If You Lived With a Cherokee. Thought you might like it. It was my daughter's. Would that be okay? If You Lived With a Cherokee. Oh, you do. Yes, yeah, somebody asked, are you Cherokee? Yes, we, I am Cherokee. Um, Ranger's Cherokee. Mazzy's Cherokee. And Ransom is also Cherokee. Cassie is not. Oh, we still, we accept her though, obviously. I'm getting trouble. Someone must be behind because they're saying awesome job, Ranger. People are still enjoying your song, buddy. All right. Any last questions you want to go? Lori said she had to sub to her other channel again. Huh. Do you guys. I feel like I'm falling down in this chair. Do you guys want to go see the Christmas lights before we end? Yes, no. Uh, Connie has an unspoken prayer request. She's watching from Lakewood, Colorado. Yes, I have two sisters. Gary has two sisters. All right, Greg says yes. Jackie Kimmer says yes. They want to see the Christmas lights. Oh, Rosa, Johnny so Johnson. That boat is used a lot in Louisiana to hunt gators. Oh. So is it gator proof? I am an honorary Cherokee. Margie, putting up with these people, they should just give me my card. Instead, we give her... Brandon and the kids are Chickasaw, but Stephanie's not. Stephanie and I will sit in the corner by ourselves. They are civilized, though. The Chickasaws are civilized. <laughs> you learned that on Dutch's video? Uh, I don't know. Show them how this no, it's not. All right, Carol. Carol Miller is Cherokee. Her mom is full-blood Cherokee. So... That means Carol's half, at least. Sneak up on those critters. All right, so they're wanting to see. Let's unplug you because I had my phone All right, charged. let's give them a good look at the tree before we head out. In all of its mighty glory. Kind of need to, like, flip the camera around. Ready? Where's it at? There we go. So there's the tree. I can't get it all in one swoop, but there's a tree. Gary wants to go out the back door. Okay. There's the uh, awesome sign that Brandon made us over at Rustic Woodworking Family. And, oh, we got to take down our fall decorations, I guess. Can you have both at once? So it's cold. Don't have a jacket on, but I won't die. I can't see nothing. What a trip. All right, making it outside. There's the new freezer camp. Oh my Lanta, it's cold. And ta-da! Got it back way up. Oh my goodness, it's cold. Gary's got the phone now. Come so our carport's over there. And it starts there. Dina's like, who is out here? Are they coming in very good? Yeah, we're gonna get out here so you can actually see oh it. Oh my goodness, I'm in flip flops and no coat. You don't have a coat on? No, or shoes. Yes, we need a drone shot. That's don't get right. Too far away from the house. I'm using Wi Fi. Oh, okay. So there's the lights, guys. <laughs> red and green is our <laughs> oh, red and green is our colors. But we're gonna get closer to the house because Cassie said. Tell them what's cool about the lights. Okay, so these lights are magnetic lights. The lights are gonna come on when you go into the porch. It's fine. Yeah. So these lights are magnetic. That Gary has now. Oh, we need to turn it around. around again. Yeah. Over here. Ooh. So those are <laughs> magnetics. So they, since we have a metal roof, um, I can go around and uh, just stick the lights to the roof. They're C nines, um, and we alternate red and green. So we love Christmas. It's our favorite holiday. Is is it your favorite holiday? Yeah, I think it, so. It's my favorite holiday. 
mainly because we get to celebrate the birth of Jesus and our Savior coming into this world um, that came to us to die so we could um, be forgiven from our sins. Yes. So that's why we love Christmas so much. It's the most meaningful. And I know there's some people out there that are going to get all technical. <laughs> be like, it wasn't the actual day. It doesn't matter if it was the actual day or not. We're celebrating the event, the birth of Jesus Christ. So that's why we love Christmas so much. <laughs> so cold. All right. So. Thank you guys so much for watching today. We uh, truly appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Uh, make sure you're following us on Facebook. Make sure you go over to Catching Up With The Walkers and follow us there as well. Uh, thank you to our awesome mods who stopped in tonight and helped us out. We truly appreciate it. Make sure you check out their channels also. We love you guys. Have a great day, night. God bless. Bye. Have a good night.